I'm wearing my Bama Pride today on uh, Wednesday, December 13th. Hey, Fiberista. So today I thought I would walk you through some of the really interesting add-ins that I have in my stash for, that I use for my art yarn. I have a lot of, you know, typical stuff. I have my own hand spun art yarn and I have some sock yarns, but there's some also some other textures that I've kind of collected that I wanted to share with you that might maybe spark some ideas for your own art weaving anyway so let me change the camera and i'm gonna just show you some of the stuff that i have in my bin hey fiberista okay so let me show you some of the stuff that i like to add into my art weaving and i'm talking outside of the art yarn now granted you can add the, the beautiful thing about art weaving is being able to add all those wonderful chunky art yarns but there's some other stuff that you can add in um, to that will either kind of contrast with the art yarn or or just kind of add interest so let me just show you some of the stuff that I have in my stash the first thing I want to show you guys is I have this crazy collection of novelty yarns. Back about 15 years ago this kind of yarn was really hot um, in the yarn shops for making uh, for making novelty yarn scarves and sometimes you can find this stuff still around um, but sometimes not and I have like all kinds of, I mean we're talking fun fur knitted up the stuff looks like Muppet pelt so but just a strand or two in the art yarn in the art weaving I haven't picked it out yet but yeah here here you can see where I've put, I've done some of that that fun for what I'll do is go back and and pick some of that out so it gives a little fur dimension just in one little place I also have this this kind with the flags and that is that is this this right here I don't know if you can see that there we go this right here this I actually got at the Target dollar section. I know it's weird. They never have that stuff there. But every once in a while, they'll have something kind of interesting, be it a ribbon or this weird yarn. Um, even even like craft string for wrapping is kind of fun to add to. Yes, see, thing, yarn even like this sometimes is hard to put into the into art weaving just because so much of the detail of this kind of yarn is is lost in the weaving. So this is a good if you're doing an art yarn warp or if you're just going to be knitting. But for art weaving, eh, maybe not so much. Another thing I love to put in there is uh, Sari Silk Yarn. Uh, it has... It's not really good if you're going to use it for a warp, only because this stuff is really fragile. Um, and, and warp yarns, you need to have, uh, you need them to be a little more sturdy because you're, you're getting a lot of wear as you're, you're beating it with the heddle. Anyway, but this stuff is really good for small sections within your, within your weaving. Let me see if these weavings have any. Yeah, right here you can see there's a little... There's a little section of art yarn, I mean of, of sari silk right there. And if you can see, there's just, it just has a little bit of hair. Not as much as a mohair, but just a little bit of hair. All right, so that being said, mohair is pretty interesting. A mohair is really awesome for, for um, art yarn weaving. This is good too if you want to do if you want to warp with it it'll add like an open airiness airy place especially if you have it next to a thicker yarn it'll give like a, a lace segment to it or even just using it um 
if you use it as the weft. But if you use it as the weft, I would, I would almost be tempted to say don't really beat it really hard because like with knitting, um, mohair really shines when you can, um, when you knit it, when you work with it to give some space around it so you can see the, the halo effect of the individual strands of yarn. So keep that in mind when you're weaving too. You don't want to beat it into a solid fabric. You might want to leave it a little open and this adds a little dimension to your weaving because then it, you're actually looking through the weaving and through the the hairy parts of this mohair. Um, another thing you can do is you know to get the same effect with your with your locks you know that you might have from art yarn you can actually physically take some some uh, wool locks like here here's some uh, tea water locks you can actually take these and lay them individually into your weaving and just I would just lock it in with with a strand of, of regular weaving another fun thing to add into your weaving is sari ribbon sari ribbon's great you can even use it for for your warp but just be keep in mind that sometimes sometimes it's knotted instead of sewn and so um, it's really hard to get that through even the 2.5 dpi holes so i would just kind of uh, if you use it just be wary of of be aware of where the the knots are and i would opt to go through a slot as opposed to a hole. Otherwise, adding it to adding it to your weaving adds another bit of dimension. It's another one of those areas where I might not beat it as tightly or if you do beat it tightly and so it's going to look like a big wad of fabric in your weaving, then I would just maybe limit it to one or two rows and then just add a, a contrasting thinner weft on either side and last oh another thing that I love to to put in there and this is really fun is um is this pom-pom fringe now this so, this is kind of sometimes it's tricky finding this and it can be really expensive if you're like going to buy yards of it at a at a fabric store this stuff I think this stuff I found at a thrift store, so keep your eyes open for thrift stores. Heck, I think I even found some at, um, I think I even found some at Target in the dollar section at one point. I'm telling you, the dollar section of Target is, is the way to go for a lot of this stuff. Anyway, but it can add, even if you just add a short row of it, it's, it's a nice little dimension to add to your art weaving. Another thing that I love to add is big big pieces of fabric. Um, there's a technique that I'm trying to, with the wall dolls and I'll share that with you as a process. Um, and it's more, the, the fabric ends up being more about what's laying on the outsides of the weaving than the insides of the weaving sometimes because otherwise it's going to look like this big wad in the weaving. So I'm going to share that with you um, later. The final thing that I love, love, love to add to my art weavings are felted dreads. Yeah, this, these are great. I love these. These, I actually made them for uh, when I was vending a music festival. <laughs> anyway, but I had all these dreads left over and I started to use them in my art weaving. And I actually, I in, a, in an attempt to, to try and and use them up I just I made this gigantic scarf right here and just use dread after dread after dread and I love this piece this is a wonderful piece it's heavy as all get out but it's it's a really fun piece for me that's it that's 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 a trip down some of the more unusual things in my in my um in my stash. Really, I mean, you just, you don't need that much. Just this much of a scrap yarn. So if you have a friend that's working on something that has a really cool yarn, I mean, even just getting some of their scraps is great. It's a great way. Art weaving is a great way to use up little bits of yarn.
So anyway, that's, those are my tips. So I thought maybe I would make a felted dreads tutorial, but let me know what you think. I'm not sure. Is that something that you guys want me to do a video on? I would love to share that with you. Um, if, if you think so, just leave me a comment down below or you can shoot me an email privately if you don't want to leave a public comment. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.